I have seen a lot of horrific things in my career, uh, but nothing worse than this. We now know the local man who killed an Albuquerque four-year-old will spend a very long time behind bars. Today, a judge sentenced Zarek Marquez to 30 years in prison for the murder of James Dunkley Cruz in 2019. Brittany Costello reports the judge, extended family, and first responders spoke directly to Marquez about the gravity of what he did and the beautiful, innocent child he took from this world. He was a beautiful little boy, so strong. I touched you up. Mommy? Do you like it? They're fluffy, huh? Yeah. At four years old, James Dunkley Cruz was brutally beaten to death in December 2019. His attacker was the very person who was supposed to protect him. The first thing everyone agreed on was that at the end of James's life, he was surrounded by the fire, by fire, police, and EMS strangers who cared and fought for him more than anyone had. In James's final moments, he was truly loved. Zarek Marquez, his mother's friend, pleaded guilty to causing James's death at 6'1, 270 pounds. Marquez told investigators he fell on James, but his story and James's extensive injuries didn't add up. It is almost unimaginable that somebody could do this to a little boy. Mr. Marquez didn't only hurt James that night and throughout those four months, but he had two little girls, two little girls that saw what he did to James that night. Marquez's two-year-old daughter told investigators what actually happened. Did somebody get in trouble? Yeah. Who did? Uh, James. James. Yeah. What happened to James? Jump on him. Who jumped on him? Um, Daddy. Marquez watched, but never reacted to testimony by extended family and first responders. If you were unhappy with James being in your home, you could have always just dropped him by my house. I would have gladly taken him in. In exchange for pleading guilty, Marquez agreed to spend life behind bars. Judge Stan Whitaker had choice words for him, but also the agency that was supposed to protect James Dunkley Cruz. After learning, CYFD had 13 referrals and nine investigations throughout his very short life. We hear too much of this. Uh, we hear too much of, of, of CYFD going in and um, seeing folks and uh, seeing children in, in situations where probably kids should be taken out. Um, and, and we just don't uh, have that happening. And as a result, we see way too many children needlessly being uh, brutalized, abused, and, and ultimately killed. I, I don't have any words for it. Brittany Costello, KOB4. I'm with Judge Whitaker there. It's hard to have words. James' own mother and her best friend are also facing child abuse charges. We will learn more about those cases in the new year. As for Marquez, as Brittany pointed out, um, he didn't react, he didn't speak. His attorney, however, mentioned plans to appeal a recent motion the judge denied to withdraw his plea deal.